Hey guys, so the gang is gonna discuss relationships tonight. No. So we're gonna. I'm really to I'll, um, <laughs> everything in a relationship, <laughs> problems in relationship, types of relationship they're gonna um, gonna have any everything to do with relationship they're gonna discuss. All right, while eating. All right. Y'all yeah, already know we. <laughs> I already know we're creeping in this. <laughs> hey, 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 no, 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 not me, not me. I'm innocent. <laughs> yeah, you don't know the champion, man. Give me K. This is cute, give me K. Energy. Let's do it anyways, I'm Kadeem. This is Kadeem? Yeah, so what's the other one? You feel me? So I've never heard of a mukbang. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I know what it is now, but I've seen it before. I, just I, just, I didn't know that was a thing. So, so Kim, I got you on the food. Man, Kim, sure, but, Kim, sure, but yeah, too much uncare on the plate, so you should have food, Kim. <laughs> too much uncare on the plate, too. Make Kim sure. Make I'm gonna leave my unclean. Kim, just let me love you now. Where are you? I want to eat my food, you see me? I don't know, I'm not for you, know. For the streets. 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 For the that name come down. Yep. What you feel about that? Would you be in a relationship yes. with somebody outside of your race? Yes, I have. You have been in a relationship with somebody outside of your race? Yeah, I've been with an um, African girl before. No, no, I'm African. I'm West Indian. Yeah. I'm West Indian. Different culture. Okay. Yeah, my race. You're black. West Indian. <laughs> Black, they, you, have, you have black America, you have black African, you have yeah, black yeah. Um, no, man. Caribbean, you have black um, European. Would you be involved with a white person? That's on my bucket list. Okay. Angie? Yes. Kim? <laughs> 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 Angie? Your answers are going to be just one word? <laughs> Pretty much. Short, sweet to the point. <laughs> Yeah. What race? Would you be in a relationship outside of your race? And have you? No, no. Stop talking food near what? You're too old. But yeah, I am currently in a relationship with somebody outside of my race. Okay. Yeah, talk to things then. Well, we're not 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 since when? We don't reach that side yet. Mm. Mom, or, 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 mom, we don't reach that side yet. Hmm? No. She has that little thing in them already. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but me, yeah, of course. I talk to girls outside in my race, and, mm -hmm. Yeah, man? So, I me don't me not watch race. As long, right. as, as long as you look good, I'm going to deal with you. We don't look at colors. Yeah. But. Guys, I'm gonna close my eyes and eat. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so would you be involved with someone in a wheelchair? Person making an accident and this cripple. Would you be involved with someone with someone who is in a wheelchair? Question. And you'll have to take care of that person. Question. Did I meet the person like that? Or we're together. We're gonna discuss that. that part too. First oh. part is like if you just met a person and the person's in a wheelchair. Honestly, probably not. Why not? Yeah. And your honest answer. I don't know, I probably wouldn't be in that invested. But if it's like I guess either a long term girlfriend or my wife then Definitely. You are not okay. Then definitely. Henry, you come back to 
So me, yeah, me not talk to somebody in a wheelchair. Really? Uh, yeah, I would. Yeah, me not got discriminate based off how you look or, you know, your, 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 your problems you have in life. So absolutely, me, me not talk to somebody in a wheelchair. Okay. All right. So suppose you meet you meet somebody. The person is a Christian, and the person said, "All right, no sexual intercourse until marriage." Amen. How would you deal with that situation? Angie first. <laughs> okay, so me personally, when I was like in my teenage, you know, growing up. You know, I was in my prime, you know, and that's how girls like me. So, <laughs> personally, I, I don't think I could have done that when I was younger. But now, I can because I'm more experienced, I'm more mature. So, like, I'm not really crazy about sex alone. I want to, like, get to know that person, you know, build a bond, establish a serious relationship. So, I, I, I could do that. So that, that's not a problem for me now, but back then it would have been a problem. Yeah, of course. <coughs> okay, <laughs> triple spicy. How could this not get spicy? What the? Alright, Angie. Um, I say it's as well because a relationship should not be based solely <laughs> off of that. Yes. Yeah, that's the answer. Now I'm sticking to it. Okay, where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Get some milk. Where are you from? Can't do it. Okay, I still don't mix the auntie. Kadeem, how do you need to put me on the end, Dahlia? You don't want to listen. For me personally, I don't mind. Um, there have been phases in my life where I've, where I've been celibate, mm -hmm. so it's not a big deal to me. Mm -hmm. And there are other stuff that you can do mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a kids' friendly channel, so I care. Give my damn boy name them. I want to see them. Give my look idea. Yeah. Next question. Alright, will you be in a long distance relationship? That guy, we'll go again. Sure, man, yes. Yeah, sure. Long distance, yeah, because. <laughs> long distance, all right. so Look, I've been in many long distance relationships, and I think. I wonder why. I think the reason why I've been in long distance relationship, relationship is to better me. Being in a long, being in a long distance relationship, it helped me to be more. Um, more loyal and more patient with my with my partner, so I prefer being in long distance relationship than a close range distance relationship. Okay. I kind of agree with um, Shivan, not with the whole fornicating every other day. Um, me personally, I like my space. Um, I realize that when I date someone, we would go to the same school. She's like always in my space. I'm like, you know, you can like go hang out with your friends. You had your friends yeah. before me, go hang out with your friends. Yeah, I like that. Uh, yeah, so I, I try to kind of have somewhat of like a separate, like have some boundary because I don't want to feel overburdened. Overburdened. So, um, but I've definitely been in a long distance relationship when I was younger. Um, I think it didn't work out because we weren't able to see each other 
after because she was in a whole other country only and I wasn't running so I can't buy any plane ticket to fly back and forth so yeah. that kind of put like a strain but yeah. now yeah. I'm able to go into one again because I'll be able to travel back and forth so which would make it easier so I'm probably going like probably however often I want to so okay. yeah it was a school chance quiz no when you when you when you when you when you would not be in a long distance relationship, okay? Why not? I think no one's wrong. Let Andy go. All those guys' minds. <laughs> Why not? I kind of feel like a long distance, long distance relationship is more maintenance. Yeah. Suppose you meet somebody who has a toe fetish. How would you deal with that? Um, me She's personally. Off, put now. <laughs> Me personally, it, de it depends on what that fetish is. Cause if it's told, if that person is feet fetish, like she can touch my feet, but <laughs> I mean she can touch my feet, but she's not gonna be licking my toes or <laughs> or doing all that. I'm too young for this. If, if, if she, if she, I, 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 sure. that's, to me that's unacceptable because that's gonna make me feel uncomfortable. I don't wanna be feeling no, no slime on my on my toes. <laughs> <side. laughs> wow. That's disgusting. Tua? Yes. No. Mm. They can make money after your yeah, idiot. <laughs> Go on, Angie. You make money after my tour. <laughs> also, like what Kim said, I said it depends as well. Um, if it's a fetish that you don't like, obviously, if you're, if you're in a relationship with that person, you're gonna be uncomfortable. So it depends. So, what, so what kind of fetish you guys like? For, for this, you have your know, response? You like it or no? I'm <laughs> open. The two of them go. What fetish do you like? Food fetish. Yeah, me too. I like to cook. I like water fetish. <laughs> water fetish. <laughs> First of all, guys, right? The men. A little boy. Why, 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 why you guys not stay with a female when they cheat? But you expect a female to stay with y'all when y'all cheat? Because me, probably could I cheat because my boy you cheat because of emotional attachment that two people that we get. <laughs> so that's into yeah, must be it. Guys, are you really single? Guys, I am married. There's a ring. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I don't wear a ring in the camera. I never say that ring. I when I'm eating. <laughs> You're not wearing that at all. What's what's the longest relationship you guys ever been in? No man. No, no man. Yeah, 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 for real. What's the no, 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 for real. Discuss. Mine, mine is gonna be shocking. What's no, the? Take out that. Cause you have to know this to take it out. Stop. the longest relationship I've ever been in. No, let's be honest. No, 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 really, no. We not ask who, we not ask A three months ago, sir? Eh? A three months ago, sir? One month. Uh, let's start One month, the, real? Let's start with the foolish to start with that one. And come curry. Girl, where do you want? Go on, sir. Show me what the longest. The longest one I can ship was three years. What? What? That's not going to be a decent one. The longest one for me at three years. She's lying. I like it. After you? I feel your best day, right? Me, me six months. <laughs> six months my longest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, six months. What? I think probably four, four or five, six months. Yeah, I was running. When I was younger. I was outside. Yeah. What's the shortest relationship? One day. One day, like for real. I was out there. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 like, I'm gonna tell you this story. So I was in seventh grade and I, I just started going to high school because I was in Jamaica though. So. I just started going to high school and there was two girls. One, she's very, I would say, it's a, you know, popular, you know, she looks good and whatever, whatever. And she had a friend. Her friend was good too, but she's not as much as popular as her. So her friend liked me. You know, I, I just started going to the school. She, she just started going to the school too, so. She liked me and you know I never had much friends then and neither did she so she came to me and I think her friend came to me and said that her friend liked me. I'm like who? So she pointed at her. So you know it's seventh grade, so you know it's childish and whatever. So I said, okay, she's gonna be my girlfriend. So 
she's my girlfriend until like for the rest of the day and then when I <laughs> when I went back to school the next day I told her I don't wanna to talk to her <laughs> That's a crazy. <laughs> that's a crazy. Yeah, that's 100% facts. Like, yeah. I think the shortest for me um, was eight months. All right, yo, you just have a long stack. Yeah. 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 Your well, shortest? Well, back then. You know no one. First of all, I don't do short relationships. Where is your, your, your dream vacation? Where, where, where are you the one for? Which country are you that want to travel and stay from? For a couple of while. Um, guys, take me to Mexico. Mexico. Mexico me, okay? Yeah. Yes, I want to see El Chapo. Don't have a joke, me all. Don't have a joke, me all. Um, for me, uh, Dubai is definitely my dream spot. I think that's where I'm gonna go for my honeymoon when I get married in the future. Yeah, me Invite me. Invite me. To my honeymoon. Pay, to my honeymoon. Pay, pay, pay my plane fare. To my honeymoon. Yes. To my honeymoon. Just, just to go to Dubai. I don't want to come in the room with you guys. <laughs> just to go to Dubai. Yeah, no one, no one got Dubai to like really. Yeah. Dubai and, you know, it's beautiful. Yeah. It does. It's very. It amazes me over the place. Look like everything just look luxurious, like yeah, but beautiful. Yeah. beautiful. I'm in Dubai. Guys, you guys are from Jamaica. I'm Would you go Jamaica. back to Jamaica to live? Yep, yeah, that's where I want to Jamaica. go when I'm. All right, so when I get older, I want to go back to Jamaica and live. Um, because as I said before, I'm very family oriented. Like most of my family is, is in Jamaica, so like when we're over here, like we miss them a lot. So. You know, I can't really see them as often as I would want to, so... I'd rather go back to Jamaica, Jamaica where I'm used to, Jamaica where I live like over here, sometimes I just feel uncomfortable, like... Like, I don't belong here, you know what I'm saying, so... <laughs> no, I feel really like... I can feel like I don't belong here, like, this is not my space, like, this is not my energy, so... When I'm going to go home, I'm going to Jamaica, I feel like home, Jamaica, it's beautiful. Guys, to answer this question, I'm going to show you a picture of me when I was in Jamaica versus a picture of me now, and you guys can tell. If you guys decide, Jamaica guys, I was suffering. <laughs> this is the best place of me. This is the best place of me. <laughs> I was suffering. I wouldn't be able to even afford a lace spring if I was living in Jamaica. So thank God for America. Um, so when I just came to the States, I always said I was going to stay away and work, work, work. And then we turn up, retire when I'm in Jamaica. Um, I don't think I'll be doing that again, but I will definitely be visiting Jamaica a lot more often. I want to get to the point where financially I'm able to go back maybe three times for the year um, while, while traveling to other countries as well. But definitely want to live and retire over here because the different opportunities over here. Okay, so if you if you guys win, like the lotto, what would you do? Tell me how you'd spend the money. Okay. What you'd invest in? What would you guys? Okay, do? so me personally, if I have won the lot, I do a lot of things, but I have a goal of mine ever since I was a little boy, like no cap, like. I always dream of doing this. So every time I drive on the road, like I see homeless people, like it just makes me feel sad. So I always say, like I'm going to. I know it's it's probably impossible, but as I get older, like I try to make it better. Like home could I do it better? So like I would say, like every homeless people on the road, but I take every homeless people off of the road. We I build this big place and put every homeless people in it and put like professionals to take care of them, to feed them and give them like as um you know them right minds so that them can go back out in the world and have a better life themselves. But like as like, get, it's like a rehabilitation yeah, center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but I mean I pay for everything, I mean mm. I pay for them steal them food, them clothing, them medical, everything. But now as I get old I'm realize that I can't just make one big place. So what I'm gonna do is talk to each um the agency, the agency right? are different, are different <laughs> states, the leaders of different states and have a building in every state okay. where them could have stayed.
Yeah. Okay. That, that is something when I know when I give my family some my money and Ray and thing, but me personally, who never did know for my personal need and you know just have a nice house and you know I have a couple money on the bank, but I do more for people instead of me. That's good. Yeah. I remember I'm homeless when you live. Give me Alright, as for me, if I won the lottery, I would definitely open businesses. Right? What kind of business? I, I always wanted to have a business where it's like a shop where I would definitely open in like Florida. For example, I open like a business in there because a lot of people live in Florida where I would remove tattoos from people's skin because I feel like money is in, in, in that. So besides that one business, I mean, I'm going to just give you an idea. But besides that one business, um, I would have houses and then I would give my family some of the money. My friends, close friends, of course, circle small. That's the song. Mm -hmm. That's it. Tell you. Bruv, we are bruv. Bruv, we are bruv. I do. Um, <laughs> um, the first thing I would do um, is to give, a, give away 110 of that. Um, the next thing I would do is to hire a financial planner, um, slash financial advisor, and someone to like help me invest my money. Um, going back to what Chevron said about the homeless shelter, that is something I definitely think about. Um, I also think about like helping youths that were kicked out of their home for whatever reason they were kicked out. Um, um, just like Kim as well, I'm gonna open a whole bunch of different businesses. Um, my law firm, Jamaican restaurants, um, I might start my own bank, um, private money lending company, real estate company. Um, I think that was it. Um, obviously, <laughs> obviously, um, give some to my family as well. Um, buy my own. Well, buy my own land, probably 50 acres and stuff. No, man. And those we'll stuff. get 340 trillion dollars. The money tree you win. I mean, it's going to be seed money. I don't expect it to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, no, man. No, yeah, it's that one. It's going to be seed money. That's where the financial planner yeah, 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 yeah. advisor comes in. With all of that. Yeah. yeah man, I, I have a question. <clears throat> For Shaman and Kadi, right? What kind of no, girls you like? Long. Don't ask me anything. What kind of girls you like? What kind of girls you like? What do you look for in a woman? I don't like anything. That's I'm single right now. <laughs> believe you. Me used to love Indian. Me used to love Indian like. Me used to die for Indian like. Long hair? Long hair. Like, no, no, I could be. And then they just look more beautiful to me. Like, and they're very beautiful. But no. I ain't got no type. No, me just me just me just me just um skinny girls. I like skinny girls, and like you know what? girls with natural hair. And what am Angie? <laughs> right, this is Angie. No, but for real, like right, this is Angie. I, I like I like I like authentic women, like just natural, like no, from what that China. Skinny, I know from what that natural I hair and your outfit is small, like your outfit is small. Me like me. I mean, when I call it stuff your sex or like I'm attracted to intelligence like so and a pansexual no 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 see me so yeah mm. natural like, like, uh, 15 and um, take you have to smile yeah. 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 Kim um Kadim Kadim um you're gonna be like answer the question because <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ask the question so that's what's mean I'm gonna ask the question you're supposed to never answer no. Look what the wrong question. Okay. I mean, yeah. 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 She, uh, she asked the question and she wanted both of you. Answer first before we answer the question. Yeah, you never have to answer. It's too good. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Um, growing up, I always say that I don't have any type. Um, and I think after my last relationship, I sat down and just like look at my ex girlfriends that I had for my, for my entire life. I realized they're short and they're really dark skinned. I'm like, oh, I didn't peak that. So I guess. Subconsciously, I'm attracted like short female, dark skin. Um, they have decent sized tatas. 
because I like to, you know, rest my head when I'm tired. Um, <laughs> As a man, would you take care of your woman? So she just the woman I work, and he just all the work, and she work. It doesn't matter. No, it it is so much years we can consider taking care of your woman, right? Like, all right, you're from Jamaica. Yeah. And when I was um, living in Jamaica, I know that men take care of them women. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? By a so, year, do I need them? Yes. Them some of the real. Give her a money, they'll go money now and then for yeah. hours. But weekend time, yeah. she goes to the market and help yeah. out me. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. Would you do that now? Would you be involved in a relationship and give your woman money? I don't mind giving my woman money. It's just. We have to take care of each other. Uh, so me see like me now give you no money, you don't give you no money either. If me want that, if you want, if me want that sneakers, that me can, me suppose you can come to you and say, babes, you know what I said, Mister sneakers don't so you can buy that for me. And she say, yeah, sure. If she come to me and say, babes, you can do me eat me nails this week and buy me that dress for next week. And I say, yeah, I say right. Me now just be the only person who want to put out. You can, you can take care of me too. You know, there's this stigma around in society that a man is supposed to help out the woman and the woman is supposed to just lay about and just accept it. Me don't look at it that way there. I throw it in a relationship. I know 50 50, 100 100. I throw it there. It could be 200 and not just 100. You know? So you look at it. If, if, if she's my girlfriend, the answer is no. Um, no? Yeah, no. I don't, I'm not gonna. I mean, I'm gonna. Give her stuff, but I'm not gonna take care of her. I'm not gonna be paying yeah. her bills and stuff like that. Yeah. No. Um. I'm generous. I'm gonna give you stuff. That's that 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 is a given. Mm -hmm. But I am not going to sustain your lifestyle. Yeah. I'm not gonna do that. No, I do that. Especially as my girlfriend, I am not going to do that. Um. Fiance. Mm, still probably not. Yeah. <laughs> Even. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm going to be more relaxed because it get into the, the wife thing. I don't intend to be engaged for that long. Six to 12 months, max. So, so I want it to be a quick phase. Um, wife. Okay. Sure. Um, Maybe it's not like you're not so sure of giving your wife money. No, I, again, even, even as a girlfriend or friend, I'm going to give you money. But again, I am not going to sustain your lifestyle, per mm -hmm. se. You want to get up and go fly here, the here, there, and everywhere. I'm not going to do that. Or my, yeah. we understand like, okay, this handbag is cute. Let me go get, get it to Janet. Let me get this for her. Let me get this rose for her. Let me get the shoes for her. It's nice. It's cute. But I'm not going to sustain your life. I'm not going to. You have a credit card. You're a bill, and I'm going to be paying at the end of the month. I'm not going to do that. Okay. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I'm not going to do that. Um, as my wife, um, the future that I envision for my life. Um, I want it to be where we own like a family business so we can do something together. And if it's a case like that where um, we're running the business together, then obviously she's going to have shares so and she'll be able to like take money and do whatever she wants. But at the same time, again, I'm not going to just be taking my money and just giving it to you while you're doing nothing. <laughs> at what age would you sit your son and your daughter down and discuss sex? By twelve and a half. Each? Both of them? Yeah. Yeah, twelve and a half. Really I think boys. that's the right age because them after they they get closer to them birthday where they're gonna become a teenager at thirteen. So I'm saying when them book when them um they reach teenage state at like at that time, you know, puberty like all that stuff start happening to them. I'm afraid that's the best time. Cause in like high school, it's like all the kids mix with them, like kids like mm -hmm. seniors, and them start like meet friends with the older kids, and then their them brain start them, you know, the kids start teach them or certain things to them, and then one know like them go one know like oh my god, what Shakika in a senior grade just said to me, and like, them go one know and go find out to themselves, and me teaching them at the early age, I feel like you know like it's the best thing for them yeah. because. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you yeah. have to teach them before they get to high school. school right. Because when they reach high school, like that's where the money starts. Uh, yeah, so where Kim said, right. Because like 12, by 12, yeah. the daughter have breasts, yeah. bottom, nice shape, 
I mean, you know, like, so you're free, and you know, I say, guys only look upon them, and yeah, so yeah, that's how they're and, right. And, from, and in my family, all the women that started this menstruating at an early age because I started when I was nine. So, like, especially when you if my child started at that age, like me, menstruating at age nine, eight, ten, definitely I'm teaching them at that age. I tell my son, boy, I got run road. <laughs> no, that's not what you tell them. I teach Christian, them about what can happen. Oh, and if what happen, first of all, I teach my child to come tell me because I don't want them to make no wrong decision. Yeah, no. I want them to tell me and I decide. I, I help them decide. Alright, so yeah, that, you, that, you, you, were, you were very shy. That I have to start. Huh? You were extremely shy. Teaching your child to tell you that I have to yeah. start from before 12. Before 12. You have to teach them oh, trust yes. way before 12. When I grew up. Kimberly, yeah. you so if anybody anybody used to talk to Kim, Kim run and come tell me. <laughs> if a man say hi to Kim, Kim come around and come tell me. <laughs> Mommy, you know that man so me have to be looking out for that man who when I you know said hi to her. Cause she was very, very, very shy. Yeah, it's shy. Used to lock up yeah, yeah. Anybody say hi to Kim, Kim Kim will run and come and tell me. Yeah, if shy. you think you're bad, don't say hi to her. Alright. Moment of silence, I want to keep. Tell him. The question you ask, you want to answer? Um, originally I was going to wait until 14, 16, but my nephew, he's 13 and he's already having conversation. 14, 16, and he's already having going conversation with me at 12, 13, so I decided to re-evaluate that and talk to them around that age. But yeah, and parents don't do them things there. Mommy never sit with her and talk to me. But you want to talk now, you're going to be an idiot. I run up and down like you said. No, no, no. Move away from yourself. But no, I'm a kid. Move away from yourself. I know you're a big girl and you're more understanding now. You're made this. Okay. You wouldn't date a girl with smoke? No, sir. I don't smoke. I don't smoke. I don't smoke. I don't deal with a girl with smoke. And when they talk to one girl who smoked before, I never liked it. I was a big turn off. That was one of the reasons why we break up. But she just look very manly. And then your bread smell a weird. And then like, especially when you sport, there was a black mile. Black mile. mile. Whatever I want to call it, it stink. <laughs> like, that whole perfume can't get rid of that smell there. It just look a, look a waste. Have you more deal? No, I wouldn't. I find it unattractive. I don't smoke, so I don't expect you to smoke. Um, I think so too. I hate the smell. Even though I don't date women, I find it very unattractive. That's a good question. How long you can go um, being single? Yeah, I'm a single for now. I'm, I'm a single for about two years now. What? Yo? Mm -hmm. I can't go single. I can't go single. I can't go single. But, but I'm not single.
Advantage of it. You ask for forgiveness and you, you don't do that again. 